right, just doing a little bit of light recording here. I'm not, I'll have still game at some point in time within the next week. I'll be honest with you, I've still been just kind of taking it easy as far as YouTube is concerned. I, you know, something here or there, but I'm, I've not been really stressing a whole lot of stuff. Look at some two Ronnies. We've looked at a lot, but there's quite a bit more I could look at from them. So we're going to take a look at a couple of videos within this. Uh, we're going to look at uh, Your Nuts, My Lord, their classic Hovis advert, Yokels, and uh, yeah, maybe maybe one, one or two more uh, within here. So uh, but we're going to start it off with the, uh, we're going to start it off with the Hovis advert. So uh, yeah. That being said, let's get into it. Of a walk, god dang, look at the, st the pitch on that road. My granddad always used to say it was a bloody long way to go for the Lord of the Bible. One thing is for sure talking about a, a bloody long way for a loaf, god. Like, the picture of that, like, holy crap. It looked like he's talking or cussing under his breath the whole time. I love the way the camera kept coming out and stuff like that. Jesus, I thought I wanted to get a point across. He had to work to get that bread up uh, up from where he was coming from. That's for sure. So uh, we're going to go ahead and take a look at uh, Your Nuts uh, by the two Ronnies. And uh, yeah, yeah. So, uh. Let's get to it, shall we? Right then. Our second offering tonight finds Lord Corbett at dinner. Lord have mercy. How... how? Uh, he looked like he get a little bit longer in the tooth right here, don't he? In his ancestral home on his country estate. Have you ever lived on your own estate, Ron? No, no, no. No, I've always had to share it with the council. <laughs> food, my dear. We seem to have been waiting an extraordinary amount of time. Honestly, this new butler, though damned erratic, wait for hours, and all the food seems to come at once. He's damned impudent to boot as well. So oh, do you think so, well, dear? Mm. He's always very polite to me. He may be to you, but he's damned impudent to me, dear. So... <laughs> <laughs> Your game, milady? <laughs> Blankets up. Will you hurry along with my roast pork? That's a good soul. And make sure it's a nice fatty piece, will you? See that? Damn well, ignoring me. Ignoring me. Don't make such a fuss. He's very efficient. Maybe to you, dear. And me, he's damned impudent. You're fat, my lord. <laughs> See what I mean, dear? <laughs> Bro, the differences. <laughs> A smile and everything. You're <laughs> for the lady. You're fat. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh. see what I mean, dear? I shall have to sack him. Steady on. We've enough servant trouble as it is. The handyman about to leave us, and the plumbing's in a terrible state. It reminds me, dear. I must talk to you about the lavatories. They've all gone sort of all. You're sweet, my lady. Oh, thank you. <laughs> 
You're nuts, my lord. <laughs> Cheeky swine. How am I supposed to open these? You're crackers, my lord. Ed does it, dear. Staff shortage or no staff shortage, he goes. Well, you know best, dear. What were you saying about the lavatories? They're broken, dear. Out the water, up the spout, down the drain. What? And we've sacked the handyman? How are we going to manage? You're pale, my lady. <laughs> oh, no! You're potty, my lord. <laughs> oh, my God. He sacked everybody, so now <laughs> he sacked the handyman. <laughs> How are we going to manage? Your pale, my lord. Your pale, my lady. <laughs> your potty. <laughs> well, the, the play would do your nuts. <laughs> He's sitting there talking crap. <laughs> your nuts, my lord. <laughs> like, you're actually nuts. Oh, dear lord. Bro, these two, they never fail to make me laugh. These two are just. I don't know how you could watch them and not like them. I just don't. I just don't at all. And finally, we're going to take a look at yokels. Morning. Afternoon. I've never seen you here before, have I? No, you haven't, no. How's that then? You've never been here before. Oh, <laughs> that's true, yeah. Uh, what's your name? That's right. <laughs> now, your name is what? Yes, that's right. What? What's my name? Don't you know either? <laughs> <laughs> yes, what? Arthur what? Oh, I see. Oh, this is starting to... I'm starting to take and get uh, Abbott Costello <laughs> who's on first vibes with this. <laughs> What's your name? Yes. <laughs> huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, hell. <clears throat> What's your name? No, what's your name? We just told me that. <laughs> yeah, I know, it's what? Arthur what? Yeah, you told me that, yeah. But I still don't know what is your name. That's right. <laughs> what? No, that's you. <laughs> You're right, I'm right. Oh, we're both right. Yeah. <laughs> I still don't know what your name is. It's right, Leonard Wright. Oh, I see. <laughs> Here, I'll tell you what. Yeah, that's me. No, 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 no. Why don't we call each other by our nicknames? Right. No, that's my real name. <laughs> well, what's your nickname? Lefty. <laughs> Lefty right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> Lefty You're right. What? Yeah, that's me. No, yeah. no, no. What is your nickname? Sixty. Sixty what? <laughs> 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 yeah, you know this. What the hell? Lefty right and sixty watt. What the <laughs> bro? My grandfather is still alive. Is he using hundred watt? <laughs> You know, so we got light got bulbs and a the mechanic first time over here, okay. On his hundredth birthday. Oh, did the Queen send him a telegram? Yes. And Prince Philip sent him a diagram. <laughs> <laughs> Who did he marry then? Some woman. Well, of course he did, of course he did. Never heard of anyone marrying a man, have you? Yes, I have. Who? My sister. <laughs> <laughs> different, isn't it? That's different. Women are different. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, tell me <laughs> Oh, you've not had a lot to do with women then. A lot to do with one woman. Bringing in the coal, doing the dishes, making the bed. Terrible business. <laughs> Was you married to her? In a way. In what way? In the family way. <laughs> I caught with the butcher. She went unfaithful to me. How do you know that? Nine months later, she presented me with giblets. <laughs> <laughs> later she presented me with giblets oh jesus christ lefty right so we got in 60 watt like we, we, we got we got a we got light bulbs we got a light bulb here and lefty right sounds like a boxing move you gonna talk about caught up with the butcher and then nine months later with the presented him with like bro 
this this whole setup right here oh my god this play on stuff is just i love this i have these two are oh my god they're too funny just me and my pet turkey oh what about boxing day to be just me <laughs> him no he's going over to his mother's oh. <laughs> i always have a big party christmas day oh who's that mrs brace girl lives down by the farm <laughs> great big bay windows and welcome on the map her husband's got a small holding oh well nobody's perfect All right. <laughs> does she come over to help you out yeah she comes over to help me out the pub closing time <laughs> I've got Boxing Day off this year. Oh, what's your job then? I shoe horses. Do you? I shoe pigeons. five acre field. Oh. I've got ten acres. Have you got land? No, these shoes are too tight. <laughs> oh, your toes, you mean? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, I see, yeah. Uh, these shoes are very tight, you know. Really? You know, when I bought these shoes, they were so tight, I had to wear them a fortnight before I could get them on. <laughs> well, I'm off to pick some mistletoe. I'm after a girl in the village. Ooh, you got high hopes, have you? No, she's a tall girl. I've got low hopes. <laughs> Here, I'll come with you. I know where it grows. Here. The girl I was with last night wouldn't kiss me under the mistletoe. Oh, why's that? She didn't like where I was wearing it. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't like where I was wearing it? Oh, my God. Bro, these two right here. Oh, my God. It just so funny, so good. I absolutely love their stuff. I hope y'all enjoyed this. I know I did. Oh, my God. This was... The first one, the, the the bread advert, just the way they brought across, you know, I guess the saying for uh, the saying he said, you know, a long way with, uh, for a loaf or whatever. <clears throat> but the second one and third one, that third one especially, Yokels. Oh my God, too funny. I hope y'all enjoyed this. Y'all be good to each other. Love yourselves. Peace.